What is up everybody? We're doing another tour today. If you guys are unfamiliar with the channel, what I do here, I do a lot of tours. I do a lot of vlogging of just everything from tiny house living, overlanding, which is what we're doing today. Really different type of overlanding, van life, everything. But today we have one of the Earth Cruiser members with us. He's gonna give us all the details on a fully electric Hummer, right? Correct. EV? Hummer EV? <laughs> He's just gonna talk. I'm done talking now, bye. We're gonna have an audience with us. This is gonna be great. So there's gonna be a lot of people who's gonna be like watching us over the shoulder, Clive. Are you ready for that? You're gonna, this Always is your good. time to shine, brother. No. I'm gonna fall, fumble. I'm gonna keep fumbling. <laughs> no, gonna, man. We do everything. Dude, why don't you introduce yourself, who you work for, and what we got going on here? I'm Clive with Earth Cruiser. Um, part of customer experience and, and training currently in, in Earth Cruiser. What we've got here is the Hummer EV. Uh, we designed and developed a carbon fiber um, one piece shell house for the Hummer EV to slide right onto the back of it. Whether we like it or we don't, electrics come in and why would GMC not pick Earth Cruiser the best in the industry to partner with and, and make some of this rad? So here we are. Clive, I love how you said, whether you like it or you don't, electric is coming. And I think you guys are on the forefront of that because you've now built, is this a slide in? It is bolted in, it is removable, but it is bolted in. Okay. There is, you know, some Earth Cruiser, the traditional things like a pass-through, there still is a pass-through. Um, through the passenger T-top in the top, there's a glass, there's a hatch that's been put in there. So there's, there's a couple small components. It's bolted down though, but could be removed. And you guys bought this EV from GMC. That's correct. So you guys own this, this yep. is your Hummer. Do you have any dates of when the, the rest of the, the cab over or the rest of this built-in is going to be available to the public? Now, currently, not that I'm going to tell you on camera. <laughs> there's a lot of TBDs. Okay. Um, we're we're head streaming right into this thing because it's something that we're good at and we're going to be successful at. But right now, we're not putting, you know, we're not putting black. Could be a year from now. It could be six months from now. It could be two years from now. We don't know. You got it. You okay. Got it. Do we never? We do have we do have an open, um, uh, a option for deposits to get placed and in line if you purchasing a Hummer, you can go and purchase a, a, a house as well for that Hummer. Oh, that's good. It's still, it's still in flux. So we can contact Earth Cruiser for one of these? You go straight to our website, earthcruiser.com, okay. and you can pay a deposit, small amount. We have TBDs on date of availability, but do we have any price range or anything pricing we could possibly get? Now, you obviously would, the Hummer's different. The Hummer's through GMC. Yeah, sure. Um, I heard Trevor from Marketing mention 70 to 100 is the range we're putting on it. Okay. Um, I don't know that the, there's a real commitment behind that yet. Right. Obviously, we, you know, we've got a, uh, our first proof of concept, I'm not going to call it a prototype because it's not what we do, um, is out there. So um, we're working on all that back end, back end stuff right now to determine, all the, answer all these questions. Um, are we going to be doing any more twitches to it? Uh, plus minus, right? Yeah. There'll be, there'll be some, small things. There'll be some small incremental changes that make it easier and better for production, but it's not going to look very, very different from what it does today. That's what we're, we're going to build. Now, there's plenty of videos on the Hummer EV out on the internet, but I'm more going to be focused on what's going on in here. So do you mind if we maybe talk about what's on the outside here and then work our way in? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. So outside bed, of course, the hatch works, the door, the way the door works, it comes in and, the, and then the tailgate is able to close. Holy Christmas. Makes it look rad. So you, you have a functioning tailgate, it's all good. Yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> now we just open it all back up. You, what, you take it from here, dude, I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got a little outside electrical configuration so you can put the roof up or roof down, some floodlights from the little remote C-Zone um, switch panel. C-Zone and Master Vault is all the battery configuration. This is a mini Earth Cruiser, right? All of the very similar components that we use in an Earth Cruiser, there's gonna be some familiarizations, right? It's very, very comparable. You know, a lot of people in the van life world don't actually know Master Vault. Master Vault's one of the best, if not the best. For sure. It's built in industry, right? It's been built in industry for a long, long time. Yachts and high-end stuff like that. So I love it. We're, we're top of the line products and we make sure we put the top of the line stuff in there. Well. Earth Cruiser's Earth Cruiser. You got it. <laughs> so we got a, Water, this is the water side, so we got a water fill and um, uh, water, filtered water, and then this side is shore power and turning the batteries on and off from outside. So this is actually, your cab over is a full electric? Full electric, it's all completely separate. 
Okay, so, we, so we're not plugged into the truck at all. You could now, in theory, in practical, not theory, you can <laughs> you can plug the truck in from the house and it'll draw it down pretty quick. But you could get some power out of there. You've got solar. Yeah. It's could, not practical, but in an emergency scenario, you could you could charge the truck a little bit with the house. Could you, you vice versa? Could you take the battery power from your master volt and charge the not truck? Not in current configuration. Okay. No. Yeah. Maybe eventually. Maybe eventually, right? Yeah, that, that's not today. Not today. <laughs> not today's model. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right, cool. Uh, yeah, let's um, let's step inside. If we can. Yeah, let's. Go. I mean, it's kind of gated off, guys. So we got special access let's here. Go. So thank you to Clive and his team. Clive, I'm gonna kneel down right here, and yeah. this looks like it is the. Um, the looks like the bench area you're in right now. Yep. And I'll actually step on up. Oh my goodness. Let's put the table out, huh? <laughs> Guys, I feel really special right now because nobody is allowed to be in this right now. And thankfully to the Earth Cruiser team, and they were so graciously allowing me to do this. So what is, um, while you're setting that up, buddy. It's just a little table. It's just a little lagoon, I love it. What is, do you know, actually, do you know you know the bed length that, we, that the Hummer comes in? Oh man, I wish I knew that, I don't. That's all right. We can look up those specs. It's a five foot, five, six foot. If that, so right? Minus, it's right. small, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what this is kind of where you are. You got it. Okay, and then where I'm actually so we took, is. We took our Earth Cruiser Terranova concept with the over the cab, um, over cab configuration. Okay. So that we can we can get that livability. We can get the north south sleep in, and you can easily sleep two people above the truck. Right? Okay. And then it's low and sleek, so we keep the range and is important as well. You know. So. And this material, you guys have it on your other Earth Cruisers, if I'm not correct. Very similar. This is actually from our um, a previous product, the GZL and the mods. That's what this curtain curtain is. But it's a very similar, very comparable product. It's all products that we've used plenty times before. What do you know the range that it comes up? Because I'm, I'm sitting up straight. Yeah, sure. You know? Um, I don't remember. 30 inches. <laughs> I was going to say it's a lot. It's about 30 inches. I'm right, sitting so. up very comfortably. That's now always, That's always the goal, right? Tearing over, you can sit on the on the bed and sit up, read a book, whatever you want when you're on the bed. Same thing. Same concept. That's making sure that we have that amount of headroom in there. And this, this, this you don't have to do anything more to the bed. This is the bed. Yeah, it's set up. This yeah, is it all set up. It stays set up, right? That's always important for it. That's always important for any other cruiser you go into, bed's already set, always set up. You don't have, you don't you have don't to move the switch thing, army to move right. the thing, yep. to move the thing, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you did the thing to move the table, to move the table, but yeah, you don't have that to. Yeah, that's just because for stuff, for while they've been transporting it. it sure. Without the, now, what else, is there more storage out. underneath this? Yep, it's a bed flip, goes underneath there. Also, in the front passenger side, of the bed, you can lift that up and then there's a hatch to get you down into the truck. Shut up. Swear to God. <laughs> no way. True story, man. So True story. if you, if there's a bear outside. You jump right there. No way. Yeah. Okay, that might be the coolest thing you guys have done. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's Because <laughs> it's, right? it's, a, it's a through then. Yeah. You can get through. It's a pass-through, yeah. pass thank you. Exactly, they're important things, right? Yeah. Self-sufficient, pass-throughs. No squeaks, no noises while you're driving down the road. They're all earth cruiser. Keeping with the full electric theme, it looks mm -hmm. like you have an induction. Yep. You've got water flow. You've got yep. your C-zone. Correct. That, C -zone. That, that takes care of pretty much everything. Do you have a heater in here? Yes, we do. A little 12 volt heater right there. Now, how does the, now a lot of people will tap into the diesel tank for a heater. What do you guys run for heat? This is 12 volt. This is a 12 volt heater. Yeah. Now, is it going to smoke you out of this thing? Probably not. Yeah. Is it going to keep you from freezing? Absolutely. It'll okay. Do, it'll do its job. So, now, now, there's always trade-offs, right? There's for always, sure. There's always trade-offs. So, um, us not being able to use diesel or any kind of regular combustible fuel. Right. Therefore, we have to find a different way, and there's a trade-off. So. And, and you know what? I, I'm okay with that. Yeah. I think there's a lot of people that are that are okay with it as well. Yeah. If you really need to, you can get a portable diesel heater. Absolutely. You know, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Get over it, people. Yes. <laughs> Amen. You, now, I, I'm sitting up here. It's a nice, beautiful day. It's about 70-something degrees out. The cross breeze feels amazing. Yeah. Do you have an air conditioner in here? There is no air conditioner in this one. But you don't need it. No, you don't. Because of the amount of flow of air that I'm getting in here. That's correct. Does this also have screens? Yep. Okay. Cool. Yeah, there's a bug screen. It's a three, triple layer, just like... Just like a, a regular Earth Cruiser, it's got the clear. So if it's raining, you can have the clears up. And then it's got the screen. So if you want the screen option, and then the three three layers to prevent water getting inside. I might ask you a question you might not know, but we're gonna find out. Obviously with EVs, weight is an issue. Yeah. 
How heavy is this? Do you know the added I amount? I don't remember the exact. I know we're GVWI. We're we're uh, you're we're, under that. We're at capacity for. Um, we will and will deliver trucks at capacity for what the Hummer is. That's awesome. So I mean, it's important. You know, that's important. There is a many builders out there that don't necessarily take in consideration <laughs> no. what a GVWR is, right? And um, we always stay within them, them confines, and that's what's important to us. And I know the EVs, you know, it, the, the mileage can go down when you start adding payload, yep. Yep. but these, the Hummers get a, an absorbent amount of range, right? Yeah, was, um, yeah I've drove this exact Hummer pre, pre house on it, and it was 329 miles of range. Wow. So I drove from Bend, Oregon to Portland, Oregon, and, and it was only used 37% of the batteries or something that's, like that. That's so, amazing. I mean, that was, and was you're going up and over hills, too. Up, 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 yeah. Up, up, up passage. I was very impressed with the one capabilities, drivability. It's Did you crab walk? Lush. I've crab walked. <laughs> <laughs> I've done all the things. <laughs> You have to, right? And, you have to. It's cool. And um, it's, it's, it's fantastic. And yes, it's electric. Yeah, there's all the naysay. It's a big deal. Um, get out there, buy it, take it out there and adventure and let it, use it a little bit. Try right? it. Try it. So what's all, I see a lot of storage in here. Yeah. Uh, what is, what do they, do they all do something sure. or are they just random storage? Just big draw. Okay. Big draw for storage. This one's another small one. Just for maybe keys. I like that yeah, drawer actually. This one is all your uh, cutlery. It's, Sponsored by Snow Peak, and we it, it comes out and can. can oh, I did see the also. Snow Peak over here. So you have you have Snow Peak throughout. Yeah, in this one we've got we got some Snow Peak stuff, the titanium silverware. I mean, shout out to Snow Peak. I mean, they make good products. So yeah, they do, they do. Trash can, little rubbish bin. Sorry. Rubbish okay. Bin. Every upfitter forgets that. Yeah. Not every. Yeah, it's important. I love how you guys integrated yeah, it. We have the the angle refrigerator. Oh my goodness, that thing is a beast. Yeah. It no, fits the, perfectly. Yeah, all the rest of the electrical components are, are underneath, underneath me. If Guys, I took my shoes off there, for everybody. If you ever need to get in there. And also, we've got some more additional storage. I didn't actually ask you house batteries. What? Oh, do you know how big that battery yeah, system it's is? 460. 460. Yeah, master, master, one single master volt, 460. You have 460 amp hours, yeah, 12 15, volt. Yep, 12 volt. It's a 15, I think it's a 1500 watt inverter. Again, all master volt, C zone configuration, same as what we've always used. And do no, you have we, solar on, the, on top? We do have solar. What do you have, like a flat panel? We, it's a pretty rad solar panel that came from Germany. It, look at the pictures, it looks really cool. <laughs> look at the it pictures. Looks, it looks, they look pretty cool. I don't remember the exact name of them. Well, I'm um, gonna steal some pictures off your website if that's okay. Yeah, they're, they're really good. I think they're 500 watts plus or minus. I don't remember exactly. That's amazing. Like, you have more than one up here. There. Yeah, there's two. Okay, great. Wow. So basically a full roof of solar. Full roof of solar. Now, obviously, Earth Cruiser, when this comes out, you can configure it the way you want. Maybe, can you put racks up there or something like that? Or There'll, there'll be some level of customization available. Again, TBD. We already know the concept. We already proved the concept time and time again. We just proved it again, <laughs> time and time again, right? Put one on a Hummer, who's next? Let's go, right? Let's we'll go, keep, he we'll says. Keep, we'll keep doing it. Are you, uh, are you looking into other EVs on, other than the Hummer? Uh, currently. Uh, you TBD, can't say. <laughs> I just called you out, man. I'm Back sorry. Back in too. <laughs> yeah, because I, I owned a Rivian, but and I would love cool. to see some sort of cab over on yeah, a Rivian. Sure. But sure. Uh, I love love how you guys did this on a Hummer. I mean, we have a we, you know, there there's, there is conversations. Okay, we'll put it that. We'll leave thing. it. We're at not that. stopping in any capacity. So. We'll leave it at that. Do you mind if I flip around and maybe yeah, just open that up? I I'd like to flip up the bed too. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that too. So this thing opens up. Yeah. Pull that mattress out, and then pull that hatch up. Is it just come up regularly? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. And then as long as it's unlatched from underneath, yep. you can open these. Are you kidding? And it comes up. That is so and you rad. Can drop down into the truck. Oh, you guys are geniuses. Well, that's really smart. Um, I see the, uh, you guys thought of everything. Like you have, you know, obviously the, the cab over, it suctions down to the, the it's bolted down to it the, is to the pillars yeah, okay the, the put this back for you that's actually really easy i'm doing it one-handed everybody and i did it quite easily so thank you clive yeah now clive and i are two you know he's he's a you know jack dude and i'm kind of thick You're right we're moving around quite comfortably as two larger yeah. gentlemen yeah it, it it's funny from outside you're like well, it looks like it's small. You get inside and it's not. You and a partner, me and a partner could easily maneuver in here. but Without question. 
obviously very good for sol uh, solo camping as well. Yep. Yep. I like it, man. I like it. What else can you share with me in here before we kind of go to the outside? Because you guys even did some outside stuff too. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I think that's where we're at. How big is the inverter? Because I see something plugged 1500. in. 1500. I think it's a 1500 watt. Did you? I'm sorry. Yeah. You probably and did. And it's all, all, again, it's all master vaults. He's on all configured together. So. I'm telling you, it's so, so nice when you use everything that works together like that. Yeah. Yeah, they all talk, communication with each other. It's safe. It, it does the thing it's supposed to as, as advertised, so to sure, speak. Right? Sure, sure. So. Sure, I love it. I'm gonna uh, put my shoes back on. Oh, is that a shower? It is showering. <laughs> I guess I wanted to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, okay, is that just, we just haven't figured, have we figured it out how it works? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, there's a shower head. Are you it kidding right me? Up. It comes right up and then there's a there's a pump that goes into the gray tank. We've got water capacity and gray, I think it's 15, 20 gallons of water. Fresh? And, yep, Okay. and I'm um, about 20. Oh, so of gray. gray? I can't remember exactly digits on that one. Oh but my goodness. Yeah, there's a there's a pump that pumps the water right out of the shower area. And people might be thinking, well, only 20 pound, 20 gallons of fresh ain't that much, but here's the thing, guys. Water is weight. Yeah. And you're very weight conscious. Yeah. There's a 12 volt water heater in there also. Oh, you have a 12 volt water heater? Yeah. <laughs> you have a 12 volt water heater. How I mean, about you we're go, one of those? We're going off of capacity of two gallons per person per day, right? So, yeah. You know, that's really what you run off. We just, the, the calculation is supposed to be. So you've got plenty. That is amazing. Well, the lighting's a little messed up, but that's okay. We're going to uh, step down and kind of go to the outside because you guys put some cool stuff on the outside, if that's yep. okay. All right, so back to the outside, Clive. Yep. We Looks like you guys have just integrated. Again, you looks like you worked with 230. So um, the, the Molly panel was GM's design. Oh. It's it sent to them, sent to us from them. Uh, the, this is a 230 outdoor shower. This is the outdoor shower, Bullfinch outdoor shower. There's an attachment for this, so you can have a shower outside as well. Oh, and then, smart. You know, these are just accessory bags. Yeah, of course. Time. But the, the, again, sleek looking. <laughs> Looks rad when it's down. I feel that. I like that. If I was to be at home and I wanted to unbolt this and like have like a winch system to lift it off and kind of like just have it float or something, is it easy for me to unbolt it on the inside? Capable, absolutely. Okay. The the ones for production will be, uh, will be a little bit easier than what this one would be, but it's absolutely doable. Right, right. This again is just your first, the literally the first one. This is so rad. You gotta look at the Hummer logos. That's the Hummer logo. Yeah. <laughs> As the vents. Yeah. It is. You guys sleek, thought of everything. The little vent on either side over there. <laughs> on the logo. We tried to be a little slick with it, you know. A little little Easter eggs? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then this is side. This is the charging port for yep. the EV itself? Yep. Okay. And then this side is just our accessories. Just some extra accessories. Another Molly board that you just put in here. You yeah. integrate it again. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, that's it. Same, same. You can accessorize it however you want. And again, you guys bought this specifically because you guys wanted to do this. Yep. I mean, this is not. This was not gifted by GM. Nope. This was like, hey, we're gonna buy it and we're gonna do this. Yeah. And that's what that's what a real outfitter does. Exactly. Um, again, plug yourself. Where you guys are from? Where you're located? You know how to get a hold of you and sure. all that good stuff. Earthcruiser.com. We're at Bend, Oregon, with a with a Numero Uno and Overland in high end high end vehicles. Uh, we're tool in a toolbox. Come come and uh, check us out. And you're you're not buying a vehicle from us. You're buying an adventure. I will say a lifestyle. Other than the EV, one of my favorite things that you have is I forget what it's called, but it's the one that fits in the shipping container. The EXP other FX. Yeah, that's like your your bread and butter, I would yep. say. Sure. And that is literally designed so you can ship it overseas. Yeah. And it's really nice. Trevor was just telling me about a trip that you guys are organizing. Yeah, there's one through South America, and we have a we have a whole array of different options. Um, we have Earth Cruiser Adventures, and we take people in Earth Cruisers out and, and take them to all the wild and wonderful places where what we're supposed to be doing, right? Do well, you get to Do you get to go on these trips? I've been on them. Yeah, yeah? that's pretty rad, man. Plan it all out. We can help organize it all the way through it if you want to. But we plan out the trip and we we vet it, and we have things that we cool stuff that we do along the way. All through EarthCruiser.com. All through EarthCruiser.com, yeah. And maybe we'll see some EV trips in the future. Well, I don't know. No doubt. No doubt. We says. definitely want to be the first, you know, EV overlanding trip. That would yeah. be super rad. Yeah. All right. So guys, hit them up. Go follow them on all the socials. Also, go to the website if you guys are interested. Put a deposit down on one of these. What do you know the deposit amount? I think it's hundred dollars. Yeah, That's it? It's not very much. Okay, well, everybody needs to get one of these if they want a Hummer EV and obviously go through my my man Clive here. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate right. your time. Yeah. Later, man. See you.